Hello and welcome once again everyone. Today's preview video features the work in progress Tier 8 Russian light cruiser Ochikov. Of all the test ships I've played recently it's the Ochikov that stands out from the crowd as possibly one of the most powerful. I must stress Ochikov is still a work in progress and these stats and numbers are subject to change. But I do suspect as the release date for these new Russian cruisers approaches, we are getting pretty close to what is the finished article. As you can see from the consumables, Ochikov has some very handy tools at her disposal. Defensive fire, which is always handy at tier 8 with the large carrier population. Radar with 10 kilometers range, with 20 second duration. When you consider Ochikov has a 6.1 second reload time, that's three volleys with a total of 24 shells. One can fire off at unsuspecting targets caught within its range. And hydroacoustic search, which can detect ships at five kilometers and torpedoes at 3.5 kilometers. All in all, a very competent mix of consumables which allows Ochikov to deal with a multitude of combat scenarios. Ochikov, as stated, is a light cruiser, and although this is more a designation in relation to its main armament, it is very lightly armoured. And as you can see here on screen, a simple screenshot of its armour layout, with both stern and bow sections, including the upper belt, all being 25mm, while the main armour belt consists of 70 millimetres of armour protection. The turrets are all lightly armoured with 50 millimetres of side plating, while the frontal turret plating is just 100 millimetres. Having only 30,200 hit points and no repair parity, and being overall very lightly armoured, so definitely not a frontline cruiser, but will perform very well in a support role. Ochikov's main armament consists of eight 152mm guns in a 4x2 turret setup, which turn rapidly in a flexible layout with two at the front and two at the rear, with a max firing range of 15.6km and a max reload speed of 6.1 seconds. The gun ballistics are very good with a shell speed of 950 meters per second for both armor piercing and high explosive shells with a max damage of 3300 and 2200 respectively. When it comes to the high explosive rounds, you can max out the fire chance at 15% using both signal flags and demolition expert, so very effective. It should be also noted that the base High explosive armor penetration value is 30 millimeters, also very effective, allowing you to inflict raw HE damage on virtually all cruisers you will encounter in random battles. If you choose to go the IFHE route, you can increase this penetration value to 37 millimeters, allowing you to also apply HE pen damage to the bow and stern deck sections of most of the battleships you also come across in randoms. Just don't forget the big drop in fire chance using IFHE these days. Just for the sake of clarity, I was not using IFHE in this particular match. Everything you see here is with the base 30mm of HE pen. I have to admit right here, these guns do feel pretty good. Great ballistics, combined with a very good reload speed, allows you to land shells reliably on target, even on the fast-moving Agile destroyers. Ochikov comes with two X-5 torpedo launchers, one on each side with very good firing angles, both while aiming forward and behind. These torpedoes are very similar to the Russian destroyers at this tier, like the Kiev, with eight kilometers in range a rather slow torpedo speed of 56 knots, but with very low detectability of only 1.1 kilometers, doing a max damage of just over 15,000. 
Ochikov with a full stealth build has a very good concealment rating of only 75, meaning you will be detected by other ships at 9.1 kilometers. So it's quite possible to stealth torp approaching targets while kiting away undetected. It requires a little more practice, but far from impossible. The usual capabilities of torpedo defense against rushing targets and using islands for other kinds of stealth attacks make these torpedoes quite useful and they shouldn't be underestimated. Ochikov gets an AA defense rating of 63 with a max firing range of 5.8 kilometers. This AA strength, however, does put it at the lower end of capability when you compare it to other tier 8 cruisers. While it does have access to the defensive fire consumable, it's the low detection range from the air of 5.8 kilometers that helps it out quite a bit. The second you are spotted from the air, the attacking planes are already in AA range, forcing CV players to adjust their attack runs while already under fire. This can prolong the time needed by a skilled carrier to take you out, and does buy you the time if you feel you are being focused to reposition to seek additional AA support. It's not necessary to be alone, as you will primarily be playing in a support role anyway, so AA support should never be far away. When it comes to maneuverability, Ochikov gets a base speed of 35 knots, a turning circle of 750 meters, and a rudder shift time of 6.6 .6 seconds when using the steering gears mod. You can see the modules here I'm using on screen. Finally, stats wise, Ochikov gets a detectability rating of 75, with a full stealth build, meaning Ochikov will be detected by other ships at a very competitive 9.1 kilometers, and by aircraft at 5.8 kilometers. Ochikov has an incredibly powerful weapon in her arsenal, with this very low detection rating. The second Ochikov gets detected, the ship, which is most usually a destroyer, is already 900 meters inside Ochikov's radar range. A destroyer normally being caught unawares, deep inside radar range, well, it usually means taking an awful lot of damage, if not an early return to port. Clever captains can even position their ships close to capture points where the 10 km radar range actually covers the cap, and on seeing the point being captured, they can light up the whole cap zone without ever being seen. This capability to stealth radar is incredibly powerful in the right hands, and destroyer captains should be very careful on seeing Ochikov on the enemy team. Remember this is still a work in progress and subject to change. But the release date for this new Russian cruiser line grows ever closer, so I do suspect these ships are pretty close to the finished article. I think this enemy Lexington may have watched a few too many Flambass videos, thinking he could brush the middle layer on two brothers and get away with it. When the Otchikov is confirmed as finalized, I will revisit it with a full commentary and guide on how to get the best out of this new line. And to be honest, this Russian line feels like it could be very strong indeed. So don't forget to subscribe and click that bell icon below to be notified when I upload the updated how to play guide with full commentary and review. If you like this video, make sure to share it with your World of Warships friends and hit that like button. It really helps out the channel a lot and gives me a good idea how popular these videos are. If you have any questions, make sure to use the comments section below to let me know what you think or hope for this new upcoming line of Russian cruisers. With the enemy carrier gone and such a healthy ship lead, I think it's time to rush the channel myself and see what transpires. I'll let you enjoy the rest of the game, see what happens.
I'd like to thank you once again all for watching. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more. Take a moment to check out some of my most recent videos and leave a comment below. And until the next time, keep sailing it like you stole it.